Good food, cold beer, and plenty of entertainment. That's what Sporty Steakhouse is all about. Open 6 a.m. every day. We offer over 100 reasonably priced menu items with 24 different ice cold beers on tap and a wide variety of spirits. Come in with your favorite group, watch the game on our big screen TV, shoot pool, play shuffleboard, and more. We have live music and DJs, so find us on Facebook for upcoming events. Located on East Broadway Avenue in Moses Lake. Sporty Steakhouse, where good friends meet. Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's local sports. The Soap Lake girls were bounced out of postseason play with a 51-45 first round district loss to Waterville in Bridgeport last night. But they didn't go down without a fight. The Eagles trailed 12-9 at the end of the first quarter and then outscored the Shockers 14-8 in the second to go up 23-20 at the break. A six-point third quarter, however, was the undoing for Soap Lake and the Eagles season came to an end. Sammy White led the Soap Lake attack with 16 points. Marissa Brooks and Esther Carreas finished with 11 each. The Eagles will lose senior Evie Valdivinos to graduation, but have the rest of the squad returning, so Soap Lake looks to contend again next season. The Columbia Basin Phoenix boys were hoping to bounce back from a 42-39 tiebreaker loss to Moses Lake Christian Academy Saturday. But the team suffered a 56-37 first round loss to Indiana at Bridgeport last night and was eliminated from postseason play. There are a few local schools still alive in the District 6 1B basketball playoffs taking place at Afreda High School tonight. The Moses Lake Christian Academy boys team kicks off the action at 4 when they take on Intiat in a second round loser out game at 4 p.m. The Soap Lake boys are playing Viteris in the championship game at 7. The Eagles finished 9-0 in the Central Washington 1B South Conference and received their first number one state ranking in school history. And in the final game of the evening, the Moses Lake Christian Academy Lady Lions match up with Pateras in the girls' championship game at 8.30. Efreda's last second win over East Valley at home Monday has the Tigers in the CWAC 2A District Championship game. Efreda will travel to Sunnyside High School to face league champion Grandview Thursday at 7 p.m. The Tigers and Greyhounds split regular season games with each picking up a win on their home court. If Efreda comes up short in the contest, the Tigers will play the winner of the East Valley Wapato game. The victor will claim the number two district seed and move on to the regional tournament that gets underway February 28th. Moses Lake boys basketball heads to Davis for a first round loser out district 6 4A game against the Pirates at 7 p.m. Thursday and the Chiefs girls teams team that is hosts the first round loser out game against Eisenhower Friday at 7. And finally Big Bend basketball hits the road tonight for games with Wenatchee Valley College the Lady Vikings and Running Vikes close out the regular season at home Saturday when the teams host Spokane. The Lady Vikings need to win out to guarantee themselves a berth into postseason play. The Running Vikes have already clinched a playoff spot. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 